laser is just making it more annoying for you to have more control but that's it whatever um don't fight at close range because grab up tilt and his multi hits will all lead to what he wants which is like 80 percent damage if he's a good falco mm -hmm. one single touch um so this one is kind of the same as kazia but not fully you have to also like you can play more smash than usual just basically the rule is just stay away from close range okay that's it grab oh you could have grabbed so the reason you can grab here is because this falco did not space when i saw him hold it in like this then all you have to do is grab here and that's a free up throw nair back throw back air whatever can i is it just shield grab or do i have to dash forward yeah. and grab no no Sephiroth's just shield grab tiny. just shield grab he was he was basically like grabbable could, could i have uh footstooled out of shield or is that not close enough? you could but at zero it's like nothing okay i know yeah, i need if, to if it would have killed then yeah Gotcha. I know I need to work that into my gameplay. I just I mm -hmm. don't know how to do it. You can see, like, if you would have grabbed by now, this whole animation here and this, that all is grabbable. Okay. So that that would have just been like simple. Okay, nope, that was not spaced, Falco. So I'm gonna grab you, back throw you into back air, and then now you're at the corner, or you you have to recover against the uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sephiroth, which can be like forward aired and uh, side beat and so on. Let's see. So he gets a very lazy combo, by the way. He can, he could have gotten so much more, but he just got up tilt in there. Um, grab the ledge, sure. But whatever here is fine, yeah. Okay, he got another bad combo there. Dash jabs and mix up. Okay. Okay. That's the only pain in the ass. This matchup is very much, I think, in Falco's favor because of this. If you start overdoing your landing aerials, he starts doing this. And there's not much you can do about it. This matchup just kind of sucks in, in, in a lot of ways. Uh, the good thing about this matchup is Falco has trouble recovering. And that's the, the Falco, Fox, and Wolf's weakness overall. So that's good that you have a good counterplay against it. But yeah, I mean, it is what you think. You know, land forward air, land back air. You don't want to do anything about those lasers there. Okay. And um, you play a lot with Nair because these characters are faster, so they are going to get into close range more often. So you just got to be ready to Nair. And you can F tilt and mix up and use, you know, just play the normal game that you do. What matters is this moment. Falco is off stage and he's going to side B either to the stage or side B to the ledge. If he doesn't do that, he has to go for up B, and that's just death because you can just easily down B or you can easily down there but this is F tilt or down B and he also dies right towards you here so there's only two plays you really need to like it's a 50 50 technically uh, Falco was going to basically try to side B to ledge or sorry side B to stage or to ledge if he side B's to stage you F tilt you can side B you can shield and you can punish you can um do the down B and you can punish as well and the other 50-50 scenario is he goes to ledge which is basically just you down tilt or you F tilt down that's it okay. so you read if he's going to go here or go here and um, like I said if he doesn't do one of those two things and he goes for like lower up B recovery you have all the time in the world to just not let that happen Right. so that's that's the game back here down smash okay not bad nair 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 okay you're there we can nair oh that was nair too you see how like there was nairs that could have been done you could have done nair here you could have done nair as you landed and jumped here immediately you could have done nair here you, instead of dash jab mm. you could have done nair here so um the, instead of the dash jab that nair would that be a yeah. buffered nair like as i'm rising it could be like nair will always be better than jab okay 
Yeah, Nair is an amazing aerial, by the way, just so you know. Yeah, I, I honestly, I pretty much use it exclusively landing, and only recently I thought that if we're shield to shield, I can buffer the rising Nair into stuff, <laughs> <laughs> which I don't think I have any anything in this gameplay sessions. No, uh, it, think about it more like Nair is just good because it, I'm close now. Yeah. Like, I can't use my forward air and back air if I'm, if I'm fighting close and... Uh, you know, uh, close or closer than mid range because they could dash in, first of all. They could also just, they already maybe are there and it's messy and I want to just, like, I have to fight close range. Then Nair is usually, like, 95% of the time, the answer is just to do Nair somehow. Whether it is a fast one, a landed one, a full hop landing one, whatever it is, just, just try to Nair more. Okay. Good landing aerial battle. You see how, like, here, this is a good example of what I meant before. You're invincible. You land back air. You're still invincible. You even landed Nair, and you're still invincible. Mm. So you get two attacks, basically. You could have even done landing back air dash attack, and you would have been fine, for example. Um. So, yeah. And this was a combo that you could have gotten. It could have been simple for Yeah. I think I'm, I'm trying so hard to get the dash away, uh, Mm -hmm. whatever into autopilot mode yeah that's fine that's 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 the curse of online is that that's really hard to react to and uh i think if you're just trying to improve this is naturally going to happen too a good scenario here when you full hop yeah. is to just do landing up air because it covers this whole area like he has to shield if you land with up air here it's just so much coverage wow. okay I, uh, yeah i would never full hop landed up air hop up there that that's it Okay, not bad. Let's see. So yeah, grab back throw. Attempted back here, sure. Grab the ledge. Dash away F tilt. Good landing punish. And then here, this is the 50-50 scenario, right? Like this would have been pointless. Mm. Because if he side B's... Let's see. Let's get this scenario again. Two dogs fighting outside my house. Oh no. If he, if he just side B's here yeah. to you, he's going to hit you. Yeah. That's why shield is a good response. Or you already try to like hit him with F tilt, or you try to hit him with side B or down B, and he loses. And if you think that he's not gonna do that, then F tilt down would have just, or down tilt would have just hit him in this scenario here. Okay. Yeah. And then you would have gotten something at least. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. If you shielded that whole thing, you could have maybe punished back air. Nice. F tilt. Oh, you see how you do? Okay, this is a good example. You do mix-ups in advantage state, and you're out of your own timing doing those things. So this was just simply like, um, either you could have tried to hit him midair up here mm. with something, or you would have just been ready to catch his landing. Because this really was just like, he's here, hit here, he's here, hit here, or he lands here, hit here. You don't have to focus on anything else. You don't have to use mix-ups. Because mix-ups are mostly... For, uh, for neutral, not advantage state. Advantage state is simple. Keep it simple, keep it clean. Nice, okay, you see? See that again? I so this was, them. this was, yeah, this was mash, but it worked out. And then this is just like, nope. Even if you F tilted down, it still hits him going high. So that's really good. And then now, okay, another dash attack here. Oh yeah, you could be yeah, a dash attack would have been good. You don't need to brutalize the punish just a simple dash attack uh let's see Such dash attacks are really good. it is yeah it's a good response yeah response so yeah, yeah. it's committal as hell mm -hmm. i mean every dash deck is committal to be honest but that, that's 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 why it's uh, not so commonly used unless you respond to something specific if you watch this you jump yeah he's right there you could have nared you jump, you land, you could have back aired, you could have nared. F tilt there was great. And it was close. Yeah. This is another scenario where, like, you, you kind of stopped. You stopped here. You should have stopped here. Just so that you can actually pressure him if he lands in this scenario. You want to be a little closer. You want to be here. Basically, just so that F tilt covers this whole landing, and up air covers this whole platform, up smash covers this whole platform. And he feels like he has to get the ledge at that point or do something dumb. Okay. 
because if you were just a tiny inch closer, even this would have hit, right? And then now you just a combo. Get out. They see if you don't Should get out, roll then you, away you can there? just or... yeah, or jump away, or roll in even any of those. Okay. Grab back throw. Okay, good weight, almost. So this is a good weight. That was a good strategy. You back throw. You see, okay, I don't want to swing. I just want to see him go low. Okay, I retreat. He shot a laser. So as soon as he shoots a laser, back at that 50-50 scenario where he's going to go in or get the ledge. Because anything else sucks. So you either swing with F-Tilt because his dash is pointless, right? Yeah. Or you go for counter and he dies. Okay. Down there. Good attempt. Could have short hopped. It would have been a little bit better, but that's fine. I like this mix up. Grab? Oh, okay, no. Just because I saw the shield, my reaction was grab. Almost. You know, this was a good B reverse, by the way. It's just that you yeah. you did it for too long and you couldn't back air. Like if you did immediate jump back air, it would have just hit him right here. If he side B, maybe that back air would have connected too. So like this was a good B reverse mix up. Yeah, just late on the double jump. Oof, yeah, spot touch down smash. Wi-Fi play. It's, yeah. <laughs> I think you just released your shield. You could have jumped very, very, very um, easily. Can you jump out with Sephiroth? Because you have good ledge options. You have good recovery. You have good mix-ups where you can, like you know uh, forward air the the stage and mix up like that you can throw out one or two or even three aerials from the ledge and then get the ledge and still be fine mm -hmm. because you have a big forward air so like you can you can abuse this area more you don't have yeah. to like feel desperate at the corner Sephiroth has a really good ledge play F tilt down sure F tilt again oh soon as a falco releases like this, it means they're gonna wall jump side B. Always, there's no other option that they have. Uh oh. Okay. Grab, back throw. Uh huh. Forward. Air. Oh, you had it. Fine. Okay. Good dash F tilt. Good up air. Good movement here. You're just moving really well. So dash, dash, landing up air, dash, landing up air again. You space it really well. He almost died. Good forward air pressure. Side B, yeah, you see you defend this part now. And that is the best part to actually defend because as long as he gets the ledge, it's still a ledge trap. So I should be under that platform usually, I guess. This? Uh, like under the platform, just towards the right side of it. Cause oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I never know where to basically, stand when I'm doing my here, trap. Here, just so that basically just so that F tilt can hit here. Okay. If you ang angle it down, that's the, that's the important part. That's a good mix up on their movement. Very clean. And you see how like he gets in close, and then you play something and it doesn't work. This is a scenario where, again, you can roll out, you can jump out. One of those, just get out. Like, don't interact at close. Not even there so much. You can, but, like, not. You'd rather just get out. Nair? Oh, you see how you landed with nothing? That's also another Nair. Jump. Land Nair. Might as well. Grab. Nair. No. Nair. Good. Landing up there. Let me show you full hop because there's no combo here you did a rising up air right he's gonna have to land on the air on a platform attack full hop then do landing up air or short hop and do landing up air it'll cover all of this that's so cool i would only think back air is a possibility here i never considered up air when we're like mm -hmm. on the same plane if you watch tweak he does that a lot too like landing up air Full hop landing up air because you're dragging your sword down with that fastball, it just covers the whole platform and so much more. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay, grab, grab. Oh. 
Yeah, you see full hop there. So tech chase, full hop. Full hop just wastes the, the tech chase because there's there's nothing up here anyway. Yeah. If you dash F tilted, that would have been better, for example. Okay, good up B. Good up air. Almost. Oh yeah, you didn't need to, you didn't need to. Simple F tilt would have been fine. Now he's dead. Okay, still very doable. Uh-oh. Oh, you're fine. Good. Good. Nice. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Right? You, you killed him, right? I feel like it. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was like, that's guaranteed death. <laughs> that's good. Because honestly, like, this guy was struggling with, uh... With... With this range here, Falco mm. doesn't really have anything at mid range against Sephiroth. That's the thing is that he only has close range options. This was really good because you started noticing like he's shielding a lot and he's trying to get into close range. And the reason he's shielding a lot is because I'm landing aerials and he has to like dash shield, dash shield, dash shield, dash shield because that's how he gets into close range. And so now you pull the play on down smash against his shield and it just works out. And that's that's really huge. So.